With a number of new Macs recently released by Apple, you may be thinking about selling your current Mac and upgrading to a new one. Of course, when selling or giving away your Mac, you need to make sure to protect your data and leave a clean slate for the next owner. We'll take you through all the steps you should take to ensure your Mac is safely wiped before passing it on to its next owner. If you plan to sell your Mac, you'll want to make note of specifications of your hardware before you restore it. Click on the Apple logo at the upper left corner of your screen, then click About This Mac. An overview should show up with all the info you need for your listing, including the model and year, processor, memory, graphics, display, and storage. Next, you'll want to back up your data. The best way to back up everything at once is to use Apple's native Time Machine app. First, connect an external storage drive to your Mac, and make sure it has enough free space by right-clicking on the drive and clicking Get Info. Then, open Time Machine. Once at the main page, click Select Backup Disk. Choose your external drive and click Use Disk. After a short delay, Time Machine should start backing up your disk. Once the backup is complete, you can go ahead and eject your backup disk. When setting up your new Mac, there will be an option to restore from a Time Machine backup. Just make sure your drive is connected. If you choose not to back everything up, but still want to keep some important files, there are a few options for you, including iCloud Drive. If you haven't already set up iCloud, go to your system preferences and click iCloud. Then log in with your Apple ID. Once logged in, it should show you everything that's been uploaded to the cloud. You can close that page and open your finder. You should see iCloud Drive as an option in the menu on the left side. Just drag and drop the files you want backed up right onto the iCloud Drive. You can also see the progress of each file's upload status. Another way is to connect a hard drive and simply drag and drop files you need right into the drive on your desktop. Once finished, make sure to eject the drive. Before we restart and wipe the Mac's internal hard drive, we need to make sure to log out of any apps that are used or licensed on other computers. Head over to System Preferences and click iCloud, then scroll down and disable Find My Mac. Then click Sign Out, uncheck all the boxes that show up, and continue. Since we'll be wiping our Mac, it doesn't matter if we delete passwords off the system. After that, open iTunes, click on the Accounts tab, hover over Authorizations, and click Deauthorize This Computer. If applicable, you can also log out of iMessage by opening up Messages and going to the Preferences, then click Sign Out. If there are any third-party apps that are using up a license key, be sure to log out of those too. Now we can finally get to wiping and restoring our Mac. Restart your Mac while holding down the Command and R keys, and don't let go until the macOS Utilities page shows up. Then click on Disk Utility. Choose your main hard drive, which is usually named Macintosh HD. Then click Erase. Make sure the format is macOS Extended Journaled and hit Erase. It's important to note that this will completely delete everything on that drive. Now close Disk Utility and click Reinstall macOS. Once the installation completes, it'll restart macOS and bring you to the Setup Assistant. At this point, you can finish setting up and back up your files from Time Machine, or if you're planning on selling your Mac, press Command and Q to shut down the system and it's ready to be sold. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.